now let us discuss about simplification of boolean expressions which are in pos form with the help of four variable karnoff map so we have three examples are given let us solve those three examples uh, first example pi m of 1 comma 3 comma 6 comma 9 comma 11 comma 12 comma 14 uh, here pi stands for product capital m stands for it is a max term if it is a max term then we have to write zero in the corresponding cell for all the three problems the mapping is done so zeros are placed in the corresponding cells now let us do the mapping for the first problem uh, if we observe these four cells we can form these four cells as a group uh, here the expression is in POS form. Uh, in POS form, 0 represents actual variable, whereas 1 represents complement of the variable. Whereas in SOP, 0 represents complement of the variable, 1 represents actual variable. Okay. Uh, uh, now, uh, if we observe these two cells, 0, 0, 1, 0. Uh, here 0, 0, 1, 0 are nothing but uh, adjacent cells. Why? Because they differ by only one variable. So that's why we can make uh, these four cells as a group. Uh, if we observe 0, 0, 1, 0, uh, second 0 is common. What is second 0? B. 0 means here actual variable. So B plus. Why? Because it is a max term. Here the terms are max term. Max term means we need to perform R operation on the literals or variables. If we observe these two cells, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, second one is common. What is second one? D. Here 1 means complement of the variable. So B plus D bar into. Why? Because pi, pi means product of sum. Okay. Uh, next, what we can do? We can make these two cells as a group. We can make these two opposite cells as a group uh, here uh, what is the cell 1 1 so 1 1 means complement of the variable so we can write 1 as we can write 1 as 1 1 as a bar plus b bar a bar plus b bar plus uh, if we observe these two cells 0 0 1 0 uh, 0 0 1 0 are also adjacent cells why because they differ by only one variable so that is the uh, reason why we can make uh, these two as a group okay uh, 0 0 1 0 uh, what is the common uh, value here second 0 is common what is second 0 here d so here uh, uh, 0 means actual variable so d plus next we have to cover this 0 if the group contains single 0 then it should produce more number of literals or variable whereas if you combine the zero with the zero then the group will produce less number of literals so it is better to make these two cells as a group we know that the group should be in the, the powers of two so two power four two power three two power two two power one likewise so first we have to search for the group which contains more number of zeros two power zeros 16 zeros if the group doesn't contain 16 zeros, then we need to search for 2 power 3, 8 zeros. If 8 zeros are also not there, then search for 2 power 2, 4 zeros. If 4 zeros are not available, then search for 2 power 1, 2 zeros. Likewise, okay. If we observe these two cells, 0, 1, 1, 1. What is common here? Second one is common. What is second one? B. Here 1 means complement of the variable. So we can write as B bar b bar uh, if we observe this one one zero so one zero means what is one here complement of the variable so c bar plus uh, zero zero means actual variable so this is the simplified expression for this problem now let us solve the second problem here we can't make these six zeros as a group why because the group should be in the powers of two okay so we can make these four cells as one group uh, if we observe 0 0 0 1 first 0 is common what is 0 here complement of the variable so we can write as a bar 
plus 0, 1, 1, 1. Second one is common. What is second one? Its d value. So here 1 means, uh, I am sorry here. Uh, here if you observe this one, 0, 0, 0, 1. First 0 is common. What is 0 here? Actual variable. So a, a plus, if you observe 0, 1, 1, 1. Second one is common. What is second one? D. So here 1 means complement of the variable. So D bar. So likewise we can make these four zeros as a group. 0, 1, 1, 1. Second one is common. What is second one? B. So 1 means complement of the variable. B bar plus. If you observe 0, 1, 1, 1. Second one is common. So what is 1 here? Complement of the variable. What is 1 here? Complement of the variable. Complement means D bar. B bar plus D bar. Now let us solve the third problem. Let us solve the third problem. We can make these four zeros as one group. We can make these four zeros as one group. One, 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 zero. First one is common. What is first one? A value. A value means A bar plus, if you observe these two cells, first one is common. What is first one? C bar. A bar plus C bar into next. We can make these two zeros as a group. So 1, 0. What is 1, 0? A, B values. So A bar plus B plus. If we observe these two cells, second one is common. What is second one? D. D. So D bar into. Next, we can make these two zeros as a group. 0, 0, 0, 1. So first zero is common. What is first zero? A plus. A plus. Uh, next 0, 0. 0, 0 means we can write as C plus D. So in this way we can solve any problem with the help of uh, a 4 variable Carnot map uh, which are in POS form.